Okay, I finished fiberglassing the inside. I ended up putting two layers of fiberglass over the whole thing. Actually, in some spots, there are even uh, three layers of fiberglass. Like uh, around this lip at the bottom, I wanted that really strong. Uh, this piece of paper along the back also has three layers just to make it extra strong just because it's uh, not folded in any way, you know, it's just a straight piece of paper and with this lip being bent over a lot of people are going to be grabbing it by the edge, you know, so I wanted that nice and strong. Uh, I also filled the ear pieces with resin uh, just by the way that this is put together and uh, designed and made or whatever uh, the ear pieces when you hot glue them on they're hollow so uh, even with the coat of resin on the outside and the inside uh, there's no real way uh, to strengthen them up so what I did was you can see right there's a little hole I drilled a hole on the inside on each one there's the other one and uh, I filled those up with resin so now they're nice and solid they're completely full of resin I actually even stuffed some uh, fiberglass cloth uh, in that little hole before I uh, before I poured in the resin on that side I had to do a couple on the outside a couple holes because it didn't fill in the whole way with resin uh, after those were filled up I uh, went back and laid a piece of fiberglass cloth over top and resin that in. Uh, I did end up changing the eyes a little bit since I'm going to be casting this when I'm done. I made the eyes solid whereas before there were, I don't know, three or four pieces that made up those eyes. Uh, so now they are solid eyes because you can't have any holes in the helmet when you uh, go to make a mold and cast it otherwise your silicone is just going to seep right through the inside so uh, those are part ways done uh, what I'm going to do is where you see that resin that bled through the bottom I'm actually going to cut a little channel all along there up this side and up this side as well to uh, just to give it some depth uh, what I've been doing now, I gave it a little bit of sand on these high spots on these ridges, took a file over there and then hit it with some sandpaper just to smooth things out a little bit. Uh, I've been working uh, with these little tiny needle files. What I've been doing is uh, been trying to get this mouth section sort of squared up. Uh, whenever I put this lower jaw piece on, uh, when I pep the helmet, I actually pulled the jaw up tight so that there was no gap in here, and uh, that's that's not correct. So I'm going through now. I took my uh, cutoff wheel on my Dremel and cut where I wanted to to make the sides. Uh, to make the distance from this side to this side even here and here and then the mouth in the front is just a little bit wider than the side so like I said I took the cutoff wheel and got in there and uh, got as much out as I could and I've just been taking these little tiny needle files and, uh, and getting in there and squaring off these lips all along the sides I started uh, cutting in some of the detail lines that have been filled up with hot glue and resin uh, this line here all along the sides down the mask along the side here around back on the other side same thing just took the Dremel with the cutoff wheel took out uh, most of the material and then been using these different uh, shape needle files to get into little tight areas uh, so that's where it is for now uh, I'm going to get as much of this squared up as I can uh, all these little detail areas uh, again like right here 
below the earpiece. I took the Dremel in there and cut that out and then got in there with the file. I still have to go around the ears and get an even space all the way around the ears. Uh, the teeth, which is going to be such a pain to get in there. But uh, I have all kind of little tiny files and little attachments for the Dremel to get in all those tight areas. So once that's done, I will uh, start on the Bondo work. So that's the helmet as it sits. Two layers of fiberglass cloth. A couple areas, like I said, have three layers. And uh, change the eyes. So I'll bring it back whenever I go to start the Bondo. Thanks.